this game. This game is fucking annoying. But it's annoying in a good way. Yeah, that I actually picked this up, and I've been playing it for like the past maybe three hours. Or I've probably played it for a total of four hours. And I don't even think I've gotten one or maybe more than two percent of the way. There's parts in this game. There's one main place that you gotta I gotta have a main place. And I gotta say I'm probably maybe almost halfway through the set of I fought I mean so far I fought two bosses, I think. Uh they're both easy because I'm playing basically playing thief. And in my let's plays videos which I'll put those up, I play a thief and the thief I don't know if this is special for just the thief, but he does high damage when he gets the move back. So I'll jump from there and stab an enemy right there. Like if one has lightning resistance, he cuts away half his health. I just roll right next to him and stab him with a couple of jumpers. So overall, this game is pretty damn good. Um, you will die a lot. When I say a lot, I'm not exaggerating. You will die a lot. There's a part right now that's pissing me off about a little fucking dragon. Red dragon is blowing fire on a bridge. And, I can, and every time I die, they actually remove my hollow. Which basically, when you're hollow, you look like you're dead. They remove your hollow and you give yourself your humanity back. It's something called humanity. And you get that back, and basically, you can't go hollow. I'm supposed to have this little thing you get that when you start the game, you can get the choice of something. Else. I chose a gift or a ring that gives me HP. It doesn't work. Never gotten HP back. Uh, or it's just one of the longest rings to get HP back ever. Like, here. <coughs> Here's basically the classes. If I can get it marked that correctly. Read that, those are all the classes. And these are the characters that you can set. And, humanity where we did the number of times you can, humanity level, HP levels, Soul meter. Souls gets you level up. It's an open world game. Oh, 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 that's clever. Um, you remain human. If you, when you die, your special thing happens when you die is you lose all your souls. You respawn in your bonfire. Your bonfires are really kind of. If you go there, it'll give you all your health back and all your health will restore remains. But every enemy responds. So if you die, you have to go find where you drop your souls and it can return you to you. So that's kind of cool. I guess. But overall, I'd probably give this game a maybe 9 point. So far, with what I've played with, and I'm not going to get to the part because I may do an updated review, but so far this game is a 9.2. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for people that'll be like, that don't like dying. If you enjoy dying and actually enjoy trying to figure out how to keep the game, also, the cool thing is you can put hints, and you can even see blood saves of players that have died and see why they died and try to basically keep your sleep Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll put up my review of Rage you know, along with uh, all of the gameplay footage. I've recorded five for Rage, and I've recorded four for Dark Souls. Uh, the five parts of Rage Rage is going to be treated in 20 parts. Dark Souls are the same. Part one through three were 20. Actually, part 3 was the 30 part. Part 4 was 46 minutes. <laughs> so watch it. It's pretty much a good commentary of me trying to fucking not die. <laughs> so, watch it, guys.